What is up, guys? Today, I wanted to make a video on autopilot and how that works. There has been some misconception among many of my friends and also in the news about what autopilot actually is and how it works. I think that people believe it makes the car autonomous when it really doesn't at this point, and you really do need to pay attention to the road and what's happening around you. So, I just wanted to show you some of the options that come standard with all Teslas, and also what comes in my car, um, because I did purchase the full self-driving package. So, if we go to the car settings menu, we have a list of options. We're going to go to autopilot. And right away, you're going to see the first one is auto steer. That comes standard on every Tesla. And what that does is it will make you, um, sorry, I got distracted by the easy entry. Um, it will keep you in the lane and it will keep you a safe distance from the car in front of you. It doesn't actually change lanes. It doesn't do anything beyond just keeping you centered in your own lane and maintaining the uh, distance between you and the car in front of you. The next option is navigate on autopilot that is part of the full self-driving package and this is really cool what it does if you have a destination set it will actually change lanes um, and also exit for you or take on ramps for you autonomously but the So that's really cool. And you can choose, um, I guess, the uh, degree of sensitivity, um, whether you want it to change lanes more frequently um, or, I guess, how effective it is at overtaking cars that are going slower. And we'll see that in a minute. Also, you have traffic light and stop sign control. It is in beta. It will recognize stop signs, stop at them. Red lights, it will stop at them. Green lights, it will go. It's actually very good. I'm shocked at how well it could not only see those things from pretty far away, but how it is almost human-like and how it slows down or, um, I guess, decides how to handle those situations. One thing I do want to show you is the cameras around the car and basically how the car knows what to do. So if we come out here and it is raining, so uh, it might be a little bit difficult to see the cameras with the glare and the rain, but we have one camera on the left side. This is a side and forward uh, viewing camera. You also have the left repeater camera, which looks back. This is useful for when it changes lanes. It's kind of hard to see with the glare, but there are three cameras up here. Um, they have different uh, functions as well. You have the other side camera here, and um, you also have another right repeater camera looking back. So there are eight cameras in total, and it gives a 360 degree view of the car. So it makes sense to only use vision as a means to determine on how the car will react in certain situations. So that's why there's so many cameras. But without further ado, let's take a short drive. Okay guys, so I set my favorite destination, which is Costco, naturally, and we're gonna go into drive. Now, you can activate autopilot on city streets. However, there's a caveat to that. You have to be on a well-marked road with, you have to be on a well-marked road with lane lines. So right now there are no lane lines, so I can't actually activate autopilot. Okay, so technically right here, we have visible lane lines. So I could, um, I guess, turn on the autopilot system. So this is your shifting stock. I put it in a uh, reverse drive, neutral, all that good stuff. So I'm just gonna hit it down twice. Whoops, let's try that again. So the lane lines light up in blue. 
that lets you know the car is actually in autopilot. See the visualization preview of the garbage cans? Not really sure why it would need to show you that, but basically you get an idea of what the car sees. It does a very good job at keeping you within your own lane. It's like dead center. And if you're used to this system, and you see other Teslas, you can tell when they're in autopilot just because of like how perfect they are in the lane. It's pretty funny. Okay guys, so I'm merging onto the highway now. So because I have a destination set, navigate on autopilot, which remember it will automatically change lanes if the car in front of me is too slow, it will take the exit for me. Um, Basically, that's what you're gonna experience with me now. So, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put the stock down twice to activate autopilot. Now, notice how it went from the lines, the lane lines being blue, to a single blue line in the center of the lane. That means navigate on autopilot is active. So, it is using the map data and the GPS data to follow the route, take exits, which you're gonna see. So automatically it says changing lanes into faster lane because the car in front of me is going slower. So it highlights that lane and it moves automatically. Now you could put your speed up by moving this wheel up. So right now I have a set to 65. And once we bypass this truck, it should decide to move back into the right lane since the left lane is a passing lane. We're slowing down, there is traffic here. Notice how the car in front of me is a darker shade of gray. That basically means that it knows that we're following this car and that we need to react to that car specifically. Of course, it is monitoring all the other cars around me. It's, oh, traffic is the worst. And autopilot makes it so much easier and just less taxing. Ugh, it's, I really, wish every car had this feature. It's, it makes driving so much easier. So notice how the car on the left is merging into my lane on the right. So it allowed that car, it knew that this car is probably gonna start to merge and it backed away and it allowed it to enter. It does a very good job. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention was you do need to regularly apply pressure to the steering wheel. You notice that blue jet that just showed up? That's its way of knowing that you're paying attention and that you do have control at all times. So whenever that shows up, you just kind of wiggle the wheel a little bit. Just let it know, hey, I am paying attention. Of course, you should always be paying attention. Just because the car is sort of driving me right now, um, doesn't mean I get to take a nap or move to the back seat and not pay attention. That would be incredibly stupid. So just keep in mind that this isn't entirely full self-driving to the point where I can just chill out, take a nap. You do have to be paying attention. Yeah, I'm off today. Well, hot thing you dog, do you want to hang out? <laughs> yeah, of oh, course. No. Oh. So the car is making all the decisions to change lanes um, in order to follow the route or bypass cars. Now we're about to take exit 2A onto I-95 North. And you'll see in a minute how I literally do nothing. The car is measuring when it's appropriate to take that exit.
Okay guys, so we're approaching the exit now. The car puts the blinker on and we merge onto exit 2A, perfect. Okay, now this is a very difficult exit just because there's not a lot of time to merge onto 95. So, let's see. Okay, wow, it did very well. centered here. That steering wheel means we can put it into autopilot, hit the stop twice, and we're in. Okay guys, sorry about that. My GoPro stopped. Uh, not sure why. I'm still trying to get used to how it works. But anyway, we're still on the main road here, and we're just showing how the car can recognize uh, the stoplights and what to do at them. What I'm gonna actually do is I'm actually gonna try to merge into the left lane here. The car is red, we can't go, and it's safe to do so. Perfect. It's so surreal sometimes just to just to see how the car is able to slow down and then merge. It it feels so human-like sometimes. It's crazy. So it sees the light screen. The car in front of us though is moving rather slowly. Now it's yellow, now it's red. It will not go through that intersection. And stop. I think that's the coolest thing ever. I, I mean, maybe <laughs> I'm just hyping this up too much, but I just think it's so cool that it's doing this all by itself. Now I do need to confirm when it turns green that the car can go, so I just hit the stock down once. If there was a car in front of us, it basically would just follow whatever that car does. So if the car started to go forward, then my car would go forward. And why is this person in the middle of the road? Like, excuse me, ma'am, please. So that's autopilot in a nutshell, guys. I just wanted to make a quick video the car is not going to do anything unsafe. It's not going to change lanes without alerting you. It's not going to crash into the car in front of it. And as you just saw, it's not going to go through an intersection when it shouldn't. It has the ability to see everything around it, 360 degrees. So when I see on the news, these media outlets saying oh tesla accelerated by itself and crashed or autopilot caused a crash or this that the other thing like no it didn't and it's crazy it's so crazy to me how the news they just love to bash tesla and it, granted i am biased i am such a fan but teslas really are the safest car and having autopilot makes it even that much safer and there is just loads of data. You can go on the Tesla website and find this information where it will show you statistics, the amount of crashes with normal vehicles versus crashes um, with Teslas that have autopilot. So it really isn't an argument and I'm sure there's gonna be people who will make an argument out of it, but it's a great feature. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please let me know. I made this super quick. So yeah, uh, talk to you guys soon. Bye.